our summer long series talking to local farmers markets right here in the Treasure Valley. Joining us today, Brecca Hipwell and Nicole Perrine from the Nampa Farmers Market. Really an honor to have you guys here because the Nampa Farmers Market, if you didn't know, one of the best in the country, like top three and like the best <laughs> in the Northwest. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. And you were all here early to be able to set up all this stuff. And this really just a taste of what you can find out there at the market, right? Yes, yep. it is. With over 100 vendors um, wow. weekly, and we have over 200 on our roster, we have so much to offer at the Nampa <laughs> Farmer. Yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to make sure and give a, a good display. It's well, such a great location, too, yeah. at Union Square. I love that location there by the depot. And Plenty of room for everybody. Lloyd Square is fabulous. We just love it there. It's got a great history for the market as well. For sure. So talk to me about some of the things that, that you brought today. Again, a little bit of everything. Certainly the fruits and vegetables, but you got knitting or crochet. I'm not sure about the difference. Uh, meat, uh, books that you also wrote as well. Talk to me about some of this stuff. Oh, you know, this is only about 40 worth of our vendors, and we have wow. over 200 on our roster. But you, as you can Jeez. see, we have the fresh fruit coming in. One of the yeah. great things about our market is everything is made or grown within 100 miles of Nampa, Idaho. Really? Yeah, so we're not shipping things in from out of state. This is all local. Wow. Um, everyone asks, well, where are the pineapples? Well, guess what? Nobody grows pineapples <laughs> in they Idaho. Don't. Don't Jim, have. get on that. You can grow it. That's right. That's right. So this is all local stuff. We had a cold year, so we're just getting our cherries in. You can see we've got some zucchini out here. Okay. We've got some live plants. It's still a tomato planting season. Make sure to trench those. Mm -hmm. We've got great carrots here and we've got yeah. meats. Uh, we've got several different meat vendors available. We've got pastries and baked Ooh. goods and eggs, all kinds of eggs. Um, we've got microgreens. We've got homemade wines and um, fresh wow. cut flowers. Our sunflowers are just coming in now. All kinds of sauces and spices. 50% yeah. uh, <laughs> of our vendors are actually agricultural and food based vendors that's oh. a requirement so we try really hard to encourage all of our vendors to have something tasty for our customers and uh, patrons who come through we also have oh gosh what else uh, cups <laughs> what and else? We got? salsa we got homemade succulents salsa. Growing here so you can oh, even sorry. start succulents, an indoor garden in yep there. Uh, so handmade soaps um, oh, all wow. sorts of things jams yeah, jellies candles pie, right here mm -hmm. beeswax and cookies of course yeah. that looks good and honey local. artwork of course from yeah. what I love about artists. this farmers market and the others around the area is there's not only so much produce, but you get all these cottage industries, these handcrafts and soaps and the and uh, I love uh, Bob Wagner's homemade mustard. Oh, oh it's so good. <laughs> different that, flavors yeah. of all kinds. Yeah. And Jim, you were talking about this zucchini over here. I don't know if we can get a shot of this. This thing is huge. That's incredible. Just really indicative <laughs> of how great uh, growing and agriculture is right there in Canyon County and within just. Look at the size of that. That's crazy. <laughs> it's my hand there. That is a huge Do you get zucchini. to taste samples when you go? Oh, absolutely. We encourage our vendors to have samples and to um, interact with the customers as much as possible. You know, we're a family. We see our, our customers as family. We see each other as family. It's really <laughs> just unique in that way. We, we are there for each other. Actually, most yeah. of these goods we already had on hand this week. Mm. Uh, it took very little asking for the vendors to say, yes, send our stuff. But Because we shop stuff. there. Yeah. We yeah. shop we, there. We don't ask you to we do we feed our families any there, restrictions so. on taking your furry family members we your invite pets, pets. Okay. please bring your pets um, on a leash is great though because <laughs> leash is great. then yeah, everybody's pets can be friendly and in fact we have a uh, pet food available uh, snacks and treats for the animals so that's also something we encourage and dog Fantastic. bones from Hipwell Ranch yes Fantastic. <laughs> so if people want to get involved maybe be a vendor how can they do that uh, they just go to nampafarmersmarket.com and there's a place where they can look to become a vendor. Fantastic. And we talked about you being one of the best in the country, and you said there's a way that you can continue that designation, right? Maybe with That's some That's right. Yeah, just go to markets.farmland.org. Yeah. Uh, That's on your screen right now. Yep, yeah. and then ha uh, slash market. <laughs> and then you can vote for the Nampa Farmers Market and keep us in the running. Uh, we'd love to de defend our title as number one in the Pacific Northwest, number one in Idaho, and number three in the nation. That's Maybe amazing. number one in the nation. Maybe. Get, uh, Let's get on, your get on phone, it. Use that QR code, just bring your camera up to it and vote. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the donation to the KTVB <laughs> kitchen. No, I'm just kidding. Breakfast. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, there's, I'm sure there's lots to share. <laughs> lots to share. Thank you so much. That's Nampa's Farmer's Market. We're back with more Wake Up Idaho after this.